Well, of course, we all know what happened a week ago. The Braves won the World Series last week, and we know you're in the media now. You're definitely much hands-on with the Braves Atlanta franchise for quite some time. Uh, But what are the emotions for the city of Atlanta and the team winning a title following a a 26-year wait? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I mean, having been part of one of the greatest runs ever, only winning one championship in 95, to have 26 years go, go between championships, the city has had no other major sport, with mm-hmm. the exception of MLS, have a championship in the city. So it was starting to grow weary of another year lost. This mm-hmm. was the most amazing championship. It, it trumps ours because we were supposed to win. We had been in our, that was going to be our fourth World Series. And if we didn't win, and the pressure for us was greater than anybody has ever had to deal with because they were starting to link us with the Buffalo Bills, which I still don't understand why that's considered a failure when you go to four straight Super Super Bowls. I think that's an unbelievable accomplishment. And so this year came, this team came from nowhere and it, it had to replace its whole outfield. There was a lot of storylines within the storylines. In sports, you guys know, Sometimes clubhouses have what it takes. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes there's a, a, a fragment in there that kind of separates. They had what it took to believe in themselves. In August, they were not even a 500 team, mm. and they were 50 to 1 to win the World Series. Oh, For them to man. To win the World <laughs> Series is pretty, is pretty incredible. So <laughs> they, they persevered. The organization gave them a chance. Leadership led them. And I have to say this, the credit goes to the guys in the clubhouse. When you lose your star players, it's real easy to try to just bog down and know it one year year. But everybody stepped up. And for me personally, to watch it from afar, because I'm the national guy now, um, you know, my history is well documented with the Atlanta Braves. But I, I had to play it in, in a spot where to be professional and do my job. Yeah. And it was at the end of the day, it was it almost became full circle. Win it as a team, as a player with the team, and then to call it. Uh, as a mm-hmm. broadcaster, it was pretty cool. Well, you, and you talk about in 95, you guys were supposed to win. Is there any similarities between the seasons, uh, 95 and 2021? Uh, the similarities were the sense that if they were going to win, much like what the way we won, we, we did it pitching. Okay. And the Atlanta Braves got hot in the second, third, you know, kind of like the last two months of the season with their pitchers. And that, that pitching allowed them to beat three of the best teams in baseball. No they question. went through the Brewers. They weren't supposed to win. They went through the defending champs, Dodgers. They weren't supposed to win, and they weren't favored against the Houston Astros. Right. Whereas we went through probably the three greatest offensive teams in 95. So we had to do it with pitching, and ironically, we won our final game one to nothing. Mm. So the similarities are kind of in the pitching staffs with differences. They were back-end loaded with their bullpen doing most of the work. We were front end loaded with our starters carrying most of the most of the work by going seven, eight, nine innings. So Gladwin wins a one nothing game going eight innings, and Max Free doesn't give up any runs going six innings with a big lead. Those are the little differences. Right. It's a lot easier to pitch, and I'm sure he was glad he had a seven run lead versus a one nothing. <laughs> any anything yeah. can happen to change that. Correct. And and Correct. speaking of the pitching for 2021, how impressed were you with? I call him Mad Max, Max Free. Uh, his he really elevated his game, especially in the postseason. But how impressed were you with Max and what he was able to do in helping this team win a championship? Yeah, super impressed because he got hot at the right time. He went into the postseason rolling. I think he had seven wins and eleven starts, and he was dominating. He's a great athlete, can hit, can field, and then he ran into a little stumbling block at the wrong time in the postseason, and he made self adjustments in that game six. When you get beat up those two prior games, it can mess up with your confidence. And I don't think he slowed it down at all, and he made the necessary adjustment when he needed it the most. He's a great pitcher. He's only going to get better, and he's got a chance to really dominate as he matures and learns a couple tricks of the trade like we all had to learn to have our careers extend well beyond 10, 15, 20 years. 